What's up, guys? Adam here with Naruto 629. I think it's 629. Well, anyways, uh, I've been uh, away for a little bit. I've been very, very, very busy. I uh, haven't had a whole lot of time to do these manga reviews and some other shit I plan on doing as well. Uh, but I should be back for now, hopefully. Um, this chat was, was pretty good. Um, my opinion, mainly the first part of it. The second part was, you know, okay. Uh, it did, you know, bring up a big revelation, uh, something I didn't expect. Um, but it first started off, you know, the Ten Tails is now, I guess, at its full power now, and uh, he had a big ass explosion. And everybody has survived the explosion thanks to Naruto's uh, chakra from the Scooby mode. And uh, Sakura is going to heal Naruto, and Hinata is taking her uh, her firm stance, uh, you know, Naruto Kun, and everybody else is getting ready to help. Uh, I guess. Try to prolong the battle. Uh, it seems that somebody has sort of appeared. I don't know. Modder takes a, a, a weird look at something, turns his head. So I'm wondering if he's looking at somebody, if he senses something. I'm not sure exactly what happens. Um, but uh, that pretty much, it cuts off of that, you know, the friendship shit. And then it cuts to Obito, Kakashi, and Different Dimension. Kakashi is trying to hit Obito with his uh, Shidori or Rai Kiri, whatever you want to call it. And he, you know, hesitates. And Obito tells him, you know, I'm doing this not because of Ren, but because this entire world is fake. I want to create the real Ren and that kind of stuff. And we get to find out that Ren uh, actually jumped in front of uh, Kakashi's uh, Rod Kiri, um, I guess back on the, the Mist Ninja shit. Uh, she, apparently she got captured, and they put the two tails, well, the three tails, inside of her. And they were their massive plan was to give Konoha another tail of beast. And then have that tail beast or Jin Chiriki go to the Konoha village and hopefully rampage somehow and destroy the village. Now, um, that, you know, I guess it can work out, you know, that plants the seeds, but you're giving another really powerful village another Jin, Jin, uh, Jin Chiriki. What if she mastered it? But fortunately for the Miss Ninja, Ren is a complete, I guess, wuss. Uh, she has no intention of mastering the Jin Chiriki or the Tail Beast, I'm sorry. Uh, in fact, she just want to go ahead and die. Uh, and Kakashi's like, I can't do that, bitch. You know, I gotta put, uh, keep my word with Obito. And while well, he tries to do his Raikiri, and she jumps in the front of uh, his Raikiri and dies, and that's pretty much it. I was like, wow. That was the... That was it? I mean... Wow, way, way to go for being a useful character, you know, instead of actually, you know, accepting that you are a tail beast or a Jin Chirky now and trying to control it and use it for the village, you're just kind of making Obito's wish, I, get, I don't know, it, you know, uh, it didn't really seem right at all, it seemed kind of lame, uh, but she's not really a, a big character at all, she's not really important, she's only important as to help fuel Obito as going to the dark side. That's pretty much it. The entire chapter was just her going to the dark side. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, also, Obito gets rammed in with uh, Shikaki, uh, Kakashi's uh, Raya Kiri, and he has this big-ass fucking hole in the side of him. And now I'm like, what the fuck? Is he a zombie now? Or And some guy's like, it's a fucking hollow. And um, it, 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 okay, more than likely, he is fused with a Zetsu somehow. Um, or some kind of weird Genjutsu shit or something. Um, I thought it was kind of cool how to hold her. Remind this movie where this chick gets uh, a, a big ass part of her chest blown out by some kind of bazooka or some shit. It also reminds me of Shaun of the Dead too. How that one girl falls, uh, they push her onto this damn uh, I guess a little pipe sticking out and it goes straight through her. Um, it was pretty funny. Um, but at the same time it was kind of cornish. But I thought it was a pretty good chapter all in all. I think this chapter probably a four out of five. It was entertaining. Um, it was it was fast paced. I kept I was, I was really excited what was going on, but the ending kind of dragged out a little bit and got a bit boring, repetitive with all the friendship stuff. But that's what this main series is all about: friendship, the talk, or jutsu, whatever. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I, I got to go. Have a lot of shit to do. Um, I kind of want to talk more about this video or this actual manga chapter, but I've been very busy lately. Uh, having to work a lot and also got some plans of working on as well. I'm actually making my own comic book sort of and it's taking a while to get anywhere with this thing and I uh, also have to get prepared for a graduation for Saturday. My, my uh, brother Thomas, the one who actually started with the videos with me, is finally graduating high school so 
Uh, I guess it's pretty cool too. Uh, that's, it, that's it, guys. I'll see y'all later. And uh, also, I'm going to put a, a link in the comment section below about my other channel. Um, I had another channel before, and it was a, a really older channel. And I'm going to start taking DC Comics and I guess more of a the American style media and upload videos on that channel and keep these channels more of a, a manga anime kind of thing. I also plan to start reviewing more animes and mangas as well. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I gotta go and see you guys next time. I'll you guys. I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. And that's uh, pretty much it. See y'all later. Um, peace.